Okay, so guys, today I'm going to show you how to use stylized intros uh, made famous by Guy Ritchie in a lot of his movies, such as Snatch. And it's a really fun, simple, but effective way uh, to introduce characters into your projects. So first off, very simple, get a video clip of a short uh, action. Does not need to be complicated, jumping, turning, simple actions like this. Okay, so what we want to do is freeze it at the point where the action takes place. So let's go back. Right there, okay? So to do this, first thing you got to do is to add a freeze frame at that point. So I'll have a short clip. And here you have the clip, and then we're going to use a tool called draw mask. So over here we just take the effect and we drop it in and what that does is if you come over here you can add a control point so basically you're going to cut out the subject. You can zoom in to get more detail and move it around. All right. Uh, for this I'm not going to be too detailed for the purpose of the video so we're just going to make a real hash of it. It's okay to stay a little bit outside the lines. As I'll show you in a second, there is a feature that we could use uh, feathering to make it more uh, focused and a little bit more accurate. So it's okay to go a little bit like this, just not too much, all right? And once you complete it, everything else will disappear. So using the feather effect, you can just drop it and you can see how you can arrange it. All right. Uh, what we can add for an added effect is if you go to the beginning of the clip and go down to transform, and what that does, you can kind of zoom it out a little bit, uh, even change its position. Uh, to do that, if you want to automate just for position here, click here for the yellow and scale all. So to automate it, I just move it really not too much along, all right, and kind of zoom it out a bit, and it, obviously you go to the center and change its position. So when we play the clip, it comes out, all right. So that's an example. Uh, of course, I made one earlier, so I'm just going to drop that in. Uh, you have a text here. At the top, there's plenty of text uh, titles that you can use. I keep it simple. Uh, and then you could use a generator. Of course, you can use any image uh, to put underneath the video clip. Uh, but then it will just drop it in here. Okay. And also, for more added effect, the drama of the action. For this one in particular, I like a little bit of dubstep and just put it where the drop roughly is, about there. Okay. Very easy, and uh, then you're good to go. And it will look, hopefully, something like this. Thanks for watching.